In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to save and load custom layouts, which is one of the coolest features of Divi. Now in our previous tutorial, in which we went over the basics of the Divi Builder, we spent a lot of time creating a new custom home page. Now let's say you'd like to create a similar page in the future, and you don't want to have to start from scratch and create all this stuff all over again. Wouldn't it be easier if you could load this layout again and just replace the content, or re remove or adjust modules accordingly? Well, luckily you can by using the Save Layout button. When you click Save Layout, you can choose a name for your layout. In this case, I'm just going to call it Cool Home Page and Save. And that's it. Now this layout has been saved, and you can load it again at any time in the future when you create a new page. So let's do that. I'm going to add a new page. Call it Cool Home Page. I'm going to use the builder. And this time, instead of adding modules, I'm going to click the Load Layout button, which will give you a list of all the layouts you've saved in the past. Here's the one we just saved, Cool Home Page. So I'm going to click Load. And you can also choose whether or not you want to replace the content on your page or load the new layout below the content that already exists. In this case, I want to replace everything with this new layout. So I'm going to click Replace the Existing Layout and click Load. Now you can see that page we just built earlier and saved has been added. So if you're a designer and you think you're going to be creating a lot of pages that are similar in the future, and you want to have kind of like a set of standard templates that you use to build your pages. This is a great, great way to do that. Not only is it useful for creating uh, and loading and saving full page layouts, you can also just save smaller elements, like some one section that you think you might be repeating on various pages. For example, on this About Me page, I have this full width call to action at the bottom. And I like to use this on all my pages on my website, but I don't want to have to keep recreating the module over and over again. So in this case, let's create a layout with just that CTA. I'm going to remove everything else on the page, except for the call to action. And I'm going to save this layout. I'm going to call it CTA and save. Now if I have, no if I have another page on my website that I'd like to add it to, such as this simple um, text and sidebar page, I can click the load layout choose CTA. This time I don't want to replace the existing content. I want it to load in addition to the content that's already there. I'm going to click load. And there we go. This call to action has been added. I'm going to bring it to the bottom of my page. Preview the changes. And there we go. And that's a basic overview of saving and loading layouts with Divi.